and the man who is in charge to achieve an unfair demand for and I'm removing the ministry for all the men and the resources to ensure that all the different local governments and local government development authorities are in the the policy trust of the government and together all working to ensure that legal state is taken to greater hands and that there is peace and harmony and understanding between the local government and the state government. And the achievements of that ministry and the activity of the local government and local government development authority where they pretend and ensure that things are working to the glory of God and the benefit of the citizenry of Lagos State. I'm talking of no other man than the barrister and the lawyer of record. Honorable Mr. Adebo Ring, who yet. You are welcome, sir, to give the account of stewardship in the last few hundred and sixty-five years. Thank you.
the local government council, the local government service commission, and office of the state auditor general for local government and federal government agencies. In carrying out these responsibilities, the ministry functions through four departments, namely the local government affairs, the local government monitoring department, chief tenancy affairs, family matters, finance and administration, and then accounts. We only have six other units, namely the evaluation office, the press and public relations, budget and planning, resources, internal audits and procurement. In breaking down the activities of these departments, we'll start with the monitoring department. In a bid to efficiently conduct its oversight functions in the local government, the ministry will position the monitoring department for effective supervision of projects such that the various local governments and the LCDA conform to lay down principles and standards of projects conceptualization and implementation. The Ministry conducted inspection of 20 ongoing and completed capital projects executed by the local governments and the LCDs to ensure that the projects were done in line with contractual agreements, due process and state standards. 33 applications for execute, to execute various local government projects such as rules, drainages, markets, administrative blocks, primary health centers were processed for the approval of the ministry through the already known channels. Investigations were conducted and properly addressed concerning over 350 petitions, complaints, information information requests that were received from members of the public private organizations government agencies non-governmental organizations as a result of activities of our local government and the LCDs that were reported to the ministries such complaints information requests include local government charges and rates land encroachment and land grabbing, abandonment and substandard project execution as a complaint to us by the CDAs and uh, interested parties. 36 comprehensive reports were compiled and recommendations were made for government implementation with regard to petitions investigated, mostly on chargeable rates jurisdiction, where they are supposed to pay those rates to, you know, because there are always competitions between, you know, uh, local governments, especially after the division of the local government and the SDAs, and functions of the local government. The state country environmental sanitation exercise in all the 57 local government and the SDAs were monitored and supervised with the environmental health officers in order to ensure strict compliance by us, in order to ensure strict compliance by officials of our local councils and the citizens. While the local government and the LCDs are mandated to submit monthly environmental reports to the ministry for further necessary action. 65 environmental alerts and relevant reports were received about flooded areas, open and overflowing drainages, dirty and unhygienic premises, bad roads, street trading, noise pollution, and so on. And the ministry contacted the relevant authorities for necessary action in order to keep the staff on their toes on scheduled visits and tours of local government are conducted. 
such as visit last week. That was an unstable visit to Baltimore and uh, Curtis Adeli Jones during the rainfall we received an alert and we quickly moved there with the local government officials. Just this morning we were at position for another unscheduled visit. In the com I was in the company of the director of local government affairs. Also in the period under review, officers of the department embarked on monitoring evaluation tour of all the 57 local governments in Lagos State to ensure that gray areas in the new administrative local government guidelines were addressed because most of our local governments are just um, keeping themselves abreast of the new administrative guidelines that the ministry issued today. 28 environmental alerts were also issued by the ministry to various environmental sanitation defaulters. The Department of Local Government Affairs has the mission and the objective of ensuring efficient and transparent administration of the torture of government. As part of other departments that make up the nucleus of the ministry, the ministry during the period under review holistically contributed to grassroots administration and development as follows. For coordinated the monthly JAC meeting and served as the secretariat of the JAC committee, facilitated monthly meeting of the chairman where all the issues bordering on local government administration are discussed. The ministry continued to facilitate meeting of the uh, local government chairman with his excellency on a monthly basis where topical concerns are equally deliberated as the need arise. The ministry facilitated the timely and proper purchase and allocation of market shops within the new rebuilt of the modern Tejun show market to our 57 local governments. The ministry facilitated the payment of claims on insurance benefits to less of kin of deceased staff of our, our primary schools and the staff of the local government. Presently, the ministry is working on the payment of further insurance premium on group life and personal accident policy to primary school teachers and local government staff. During the period under review, the ministry continued to monitor the quality of preparation, execution, and compliance to approve budgets to each of the local governments. This is what we are trying to do to ensure that there is performance of up to 80% and above of the budget approved for our local government. During the period under review, the ministry continued to monitor the quality of preparation, execution, and compliance to approve budgets that I have said before. The ministry, through its market units, serves as a revenue source for the ministry and for the state and continue to oversee the activities of the market association vis-a-vis -vis registration, renewal of licenses, adjudication among market factions, and so on. In a period under review, five commodity market associations were registered and 33 renewal applications for commodity market associations were processed and approved for implementation. As part of the effort of the ministry to boost job capacity of local government, top management personnel, the ministry analyzed various training proposals and having approved those relevant to the top tier governance, went on to facilitate those training programs. The ministry continues to play as the sun agent between federal agencies 
and our local government in the issue of MDGs, data for revenue sharing formulas, collation of statistics by the central bank, DFID, and so on. Of recent, the delegations from the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies in Kuru, after visiting His Excellency, were equally hosted by two of our local governments, namely Lagos Island and the Betuleki local government. The marriage unit of the ministry generated revenue into the state cover through the issuance of 120 special licenses, registration of six churches, and renewal of two other churches to enable them to carry out marriages. The ministry has been working as seriously with Gen 3 on improving revenue generation efforts of our local government in the state. The pilot project was launched in Ejibo, LCDA, and consequent to the huge success recorded in the council area, additional local governments are set to take off. The ministry was instrumental to the participation of legal officers in the local government and the LCDAs at the last edition of the International Bar Conference held in Boston in USA. This afforded the lawyers to network with other lawyers across the globe on contemporary issues and to introduce and practice international best talent in their respective local governments. The ministry has continued to play a very important role in the issue of collectible levies and tax by members of the public. The Department of Chieftaincy Affairs, the department is responsible for the general administration of traditional institutions across the state in accordance with the Hobbes and Chiefs Law of Lagos State. In the last one year, the ministry has secured the approval of the State Council of the appointment of His Royal Majesty of Baola the additional Adeni as the Oba of Ibobi Sade. In the same year, the ministry was able to obtain the approval of the State School in recognizing seven new chiefs and ballets in a pair in Beijing, LCDA, and in Ikeja, LCDA, particularly at Odilikiri. Other 27 chieftaincy matters have been referred to the State Standing Tribunal of Inquiry of Chieftaincy Matters. The Office of the Chieftaincy Standing Tribunal of Inquiry has been totally rehabilitated, with the tribunal ready to commence hearing. In fact, the tribunal has done the application, I mean, they have done the advert in the newspaper invited application for prospective aspirants for overshoot. Contracts have been awarded for the furnishing of the two palaces that have been completed. That's the palace of um, the Ayonkuri of Ikurudu and the Oba Lara, the Alara of Alara. Department of Boundary Matters. The Boundary Matters Department is one of the departments in the ministry that ensure a cordial relationship with other states that share boundaries with the state. They also serve as secretariat to the Lagos State Boundary Committee shared by Her Excellency, the Deputy Governor of the State. In the year under review, prior to year 2003, 
the Lagos State had 20 local governments, of which we now have an additional 37 LCDAs. This has led to the state having 20, 37, each with well described and defined administrative boundaries. Meanwhile, after the creation, physical delineation, exercise of these boundaries were not carried out. This led to encroachment of boundaries by local governments and the LCDs. The ministry set up a committee to look into boundary disputes between our, our local governments and the LCDs. For example, we had issues to contend with between the um, Agege local government and the Keja local government, between the Agege local government and the Ulili Agege local government, between the Papa and the Papa Igonu, LCDA, and so on and so forth. In view of this, the ministry is in advanced stage to put necessary physical delineation of the local government and the LCDA in place. Also during the year under review, the department resolved the misunderstanding between the Adimosho local government and the Nigerian Association of Patent and Proprietary Medicine Dealers in Iberia and Akuojo over claims by the administration, by the association on double payment of rates by members. The panel set up by the ministry in a fair chieftaincy division has submitted reports on the boundary issue between Altai Kusi and AP or Igbe Itam. The ESCO has part the report of Justice Ishola retired on the boundary disputes between Ijede, Ebi, and Epapa. And uh, the implementation of this report is being carried out by the Ministry. Mm -hmm. The Department of Planning, Budget, and Statistics in the last one year, its activities have been extended to monitoring budget compliance at our LCDAs and uh, local government. I can tell you authoritatively that they are presently looking at um, not fewer than the 10 local governments now to ensure budget compliance in those local governments. Disputes between the two arms, um, the, I mean the councillors and the executive hands in the local government are being looked at, especially as it concerns budget matters. Other, other achievements by the ministry include Revenue generation, tax and debt rates, uh, coordination, construction, ensuring standard construction of road covers, drainage, street lights across the state. We equally have under this ministry the valuation office. The evaluation department is charged with the responsibility of valuation of rateable properties, valuation of properties for various purposes, compilation of supplementary valuation list, determination of objection by public rate payers, and the training of staff in the valuation office. The valuation office conducted the valuation of the following in the year under review. A standard office accommodation that was rented for Lagos State Parks and Garden Agency, unserviceable items at the office of the clerk of the House of Assembly. The office compiled supplementary statistical of Lagos Television. You asked a question on uh, the Lagos State Parks and Garden Agency. You asked how much have we generated in the period under review. In this period under review, 
So we have our budgets, targets, we have generated in this period five million three hundred and twenty-one thousand, which translates to a one percent of our budget budget target. But I must emphasize here that we are we do not want to see ourselves as a revenue we are a service agency. We're there for so many issues to, to maintain, to keep the area secure. And we try, and part of our revenue generation is the, the last bastion. There has to be a collaboration between all of us to make sure that services are flowing. That is, uh, uh, you know, traffic free roads, environmental uh, cleanliness, stakeholder, uh, stakeholder ability to, to operate in a stress free environment. So, this is our revenue, as I said. You also asked a question on, um, on area police. That is Mr. Kazim, I believe. Of PMAs, which is what are we doing on the enforcement of area boys activities? When I talk about stakeholders in the central business district, believe it or not, I'm also talking about these young men and women who you describe as area boys. There are the good ones, there are the bad ones. If I may say so, then we also pose challenges. But they're also the ones that we have tried very hard to incorporate in our activities. The developments, the, the work going on in the CBT has tried to absorb a lot of these area boards. In any situation, there is the issue of security, security challenges all over. It is pushing, it is uh, labor silence. This issue of um, shooting at sight, it is it's what, whatever is required to face a challenge is what is required. But we have tried to really make sure that a sizable number of these young men and women are incorporated. We have even taken some and trained them and tried to absorb them into the enforcement unit of the Central Business District 4. And we shall continue to look out, we shall continue to, to try our hardest to rehabilitate. We can't throw them away. We can try to rehabilitate. And we tend to also counsel them we tend to assist in other ways to your mention, and we'll just continue to hope for the best. This um, this search uh, at sight, it's meant for those carrying guns. I mean it's not something that is, you know, within my purview, so to speak. But if you have people carrying guns and molesting, uh, peaceful residents and molesting other stakeholders. I think it's harder than to have them. Mr. Kasim, here you he also asked as to why a contract was terminated. This contract is the, uh, is the one about the installation of guard wheels along the marina. The contractor is electrical technique. It has been a long drawn process and policy of government is that contractors must move along with the intent and purpose of government, which is to provide service, to provide upgraded infrastructures. If the contractor is not moving along, if the contractor has been paid, 
reasonable amount for emergency mobilization, and it's still and it's still you know lagging behind. The general policy now is to ensure that his negative attitudes are terminated so that it does not become inimical to the progress of government. I must add, though, that uh, termination is for non-performance. It is not something that we just do, you know, and hazard it. It goes through a process in the Ministry of Justice. Mr. Sudiru. Mr. Sudiru Francis of National Superior has had many personal experiences, I can see. I want you to remember that I, when I was mentioning challenges, I mentioned a homo and the uh, Buteo as ongoing challenges. And challenges are meant to be faced. And I also mentioned that uh, a appreciable number of stakeholders do contact us via email, via SMS, via phone calls, or you pay direct business. And I will still plead and I will encourage the public and all tiers of stakeholders to continue to connect with the agency directly. It is when we hear about these you know, anti-progress activities that we will be in a position to correct any defaults in the activities of the enforcement officers. And uh, we take disciplinary actions very seriously. As I mentioned also, the tax force that I said is you know, going around doing its work also incorporates the monitoring of these same enforcement officers. So if they are falling short of their, of their duties, if they are not performing all righteousness of what they are supposed to do, they will be disciplined. Please let us know. And we okay. also mentioned that it's packing, packing a business, I think he said. Well, thank God there is a parking policy now. And that parking policy, which is soon to be implemented, will actually put to right areas that are causing challenges. And um, the local government as well has a part to play. And we try as an agency to collaborate with the local government and see the areas we can sit together and rectify. But I note, Akumbo is an area of challenge and we are working on it. So rest assured, you will get some positive results. Yeah, that's it. We have some questions from our social media, from our Twitter handle and our Facebook page. Uh, you might not necessarily answer most of those questions if you don't have details about them. Ringo, Ringo Sunday. Ringo Sunday. I didn't know him. As, please, with my fashion lamp. Come to our rescue at Dosu, help him on the road. If he agreed to be left for his mother, Lagos, the road is so bad, I do my task regularly. Thanks. Uh, the second question is from Muhammad Umaru Zuwaja. He has a private motorcycle rider ride his bike anywhere in Lagos. The third question is from Adekunle Joseph. What is the role of the Office of CBD in ensuring the vision of Lagos being Africa's model makers? Fourth question from Ola Uduwa Deji. A co-Atlantic city, an Office of CBD, what is the connection? The, uh, the last question is, is your activities limited to Lagos Island CBD?
take care of it. Can, can, this question is hard. Those ones that are not in the last of you, you can leave them, send them to respective agencies. But I think we have those ones that actually falls under your court to be a Thank you very much. I will start with the open out. That's the last question. He asked if activities of the CBT are limited to the asylum alone. I would like to say that uh, CBT, Central Business Institute, there are two types really. There is the natural CBT, which goes out of you know, natural situations. Let's say a marketplace develops into a central business district or an area that has you know, a water shop. And then there are the designed CBDs. Mushi can be described as a CBD. And Black um, Free Zone has a CBD. Papa has a CBD. Lagos Island CBD is the most challenging of the CBDs. Because it is the financial capital of um, Lagos, it is the financial capital of Nigeria, and it is a transport and economic hub that serves the whole of West Africa. So, with all these challenges on ground, there is a great need to create a template. If we get it right, Lagos Island CBT, we get that template right then we can replicate it in other central business districts. The agency is called Agency Office of the Central Business Districts. The Lagos Island Central Business District is the one in focus now. It is the most challenging. And from that template that we're working on, we can move on successfully to handle other activities. This is in the very near horizon. Because I, I believe, with all modesty, that a lot has been done and a lot of um, upgrading, a lot of um, um, improvements on mindsets has been achieved. And we can so move on to other central business districts. This was followed by a question from um, Mr. Lipule, I believe. Mr. Lipule Joseph has asked whether Atlantic City and the um I'll call out the page actually, I'm sorry. He asked whether Atlantic if Atlantic City and Office of CBD, what is the, the connection? Well, the Atlantic City is a new city that is coming up. So then not being the new design, I believe, in Nigeria. It has a connection with the CBD in the sense that when it is you know, built, there is going to be a CBD there, and it will be part of the functions of the Office of Central Business Districts to make sure that the business districts of the Atlantic City will be active and working. Mr. Mohammed. Can a private motorcycle ride this bike anywhere in Lagos Island? I believe the policy of the state government is that it is over 200 cc. And you have your helmet. We've said, you know, some of them are strong, some of them do not turn up for work. These are what we have to, you know, watch out for. We've expanded a lot of money on, you know, getting new uniforms and you know, new gadgets, which signs them to be safe. But we are optimistic that the same adults will now become permanent, permanent employees of the United States government. Thank you.
as I mentioned earlier, technically trained. So as I mentioned earlier, even Ali Osho is coming up with the, with the CBT. And of course, you know, Ikeja is a CBT. So there are many CBTs, and not only by the grace of God.
And it is beginning. I mentioned the Nigerian Stock Exchange because we have to take ownership of wherever you are. And I think that the, the trend now is positive. Otherwise, why would the Nigerian Stock Exchange be talking now about, about real, real opportunities, the upgrading and the unification of the Hakawa and the Phoenix states that I mentioned? Environmental challenges, building collapse. Yes, I agree with you. But then, um, the statewide policy now is intensive active monitoring. Intensive active monitoring of the activities of these developers. What causes building collapse? Poor use of materials. State government is on top of it. And then also the, the lack of awareness by traders in what they store what they store in their, their buildings. They are storing combustible materials, rubber slippers, hair weaves. You store them in a place that is heated. It, it will cause fire and that will also cause building collapse. And also, um, environmental challenges, they are many, we admit, but um, I believe La Sepa, Ministry of Environment, they're trying their best to enforce, and also the sanitation of, of the Central Business District. Not that answers your question, or do you just have a slide? Let me come up here talking about associated with material. I'm actually looking at some of those things that are old, yes. and some of them are very weak. What is happening? And here's the plan. And this is what you need. Thank you. 